America's leading theater company for young people. Recipient of the 2003 Tony Award for Outstanding Regional Theater. We're taking a break from theater arts training to give you a tour of the spots in town that you just can't miss. Get ready for some real fun on the awesome Minneapolis Riverfront. Let's go! Here we are at the world famous Guthrie Theater. The original theater opened in 1963 with the production of Shakespeare's Hamlet. A serious theater for serious actors. This new Guthrie Theater was built in 2006 and is considered the crown jewel of Twin Cities architecture. Right now, we're at the Mill City Museum. It's right next door to the Guthrie Theater. Until the 1860s, Minnesota's primary highway system was its rivers. By 1873, Minnesota's shipping network changed to railroad lines, which were faster and more reliable than riverboats. Here we are in the Baking Lab, where we find out how great bread is made. Twelve million loaves of bread were made a day in this milling district. Three, two, one. Enough water poured through this building to pound over 100 box cards of wheat into nearly 2 million pounds of flour every day. The power from St. Anthony Falls built Minneapolis from a small village into one of the largest cities west of the Mississippi River. Right outside the Mill City Museum is the historic Stone Arch Bridge. <laughs> Our last stop was once known as the Old Milwaukee Road Depot. Built in 1899, the prosperous depot was the hub of a rapidly growing Minneapolis. For nearly seven decades, family members and loved ones waved to passengers boarding the trains of the Milwaukee Road Line. Today, it's one of the most fun places for families to play and stay in the Minneapolis Riverfront District, with two hotels, a 15,000 square foot water park, and an indoor ice skating rink open from November to March. Hope you enjoyed the tour. Make sure you stop by the Children's Theatre Company. Yay!